I finally made it the two torque arms. Now these are, I can't remember what it is, but it's non-magnetic stainless. It can't be annealed, so it can't be softened. I've just had to persevere, sit there with a the file, Dremel or whatever. That's taken a long time. These are very heavy. Uh, Obviously one fits in there, the other one fits in the other one. Anyway, I'm coming to the point now where I've got to obviously line these up perfectly. They can't be like that, you know, and they can't be like that. So I've got to line these up absolutely perfect. Right. Mark a hole. Right, there's my first hole. So I'm going to drill it at three. I've got to get my centre. I bought some centre drills. Uh, the only one that's actually got a point on it is the smallest one. The rest of them are just flat. I don't know what's going on there. Right, centre mark. People are going to say, why aren't you doing a bottom tap? I haven't got any. I might do with what I've got. I'm not spending extra money just to do Four bloody holes, three holes, six holes, however many holes. I don't know, people are going to say, you got to get it square, how are you going to get it square? I've got a good eye, okay. So now, I'll get me drill again, and I'll drill into that. I've got to do that one. And then I can stand it up on its end and do that one. I don't know what the f hell has happened here. I've just put this one in and everything's lined up on the bottom there. And I've just looked at the other two. Look at that. What the f I lined, I lined that up perfectly. I mean, it's, it's perfectly square. There's no nothing at all with that one bolt. But the other two are way out. So what I've got to do now is get some carbon fibre, chopped carbon fibre, and I've got to fill the holes. The good thing about carbon fibre, chopped carbon fibre, is you can fill holes with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be very clever. I'm going to make it look like everything went perfectly, and then I'll... <laughs> you know, like everyone does. <laughs> and they say, oh look, I never f up. No, no, I never make a mistake in my life. That'd be alright. All I'll do is I'll, I'll mix some resin. I'm not going to do it on camera. I'll mix some resin, get some chopped fibre, ram it down the holes, leave it 24 hours. Jobs are good. And finally, I've got it done. <laughs> Almost. Uh, I've still got to drill the holes for the caliper which I'll do before I mount it. There's no rock on it, apart from obviously there's going to be rock there, but there's no no rock on it at all. Uh, I've done the, the torque arms. That's the left one, and that's the right one. I didn't want to use a dropout here. It might have been a bad idea, and I might still add one, I don't know. I am actually going to fit the rear suspension. Now I've decided that it's going to go on that side first so the bolt's going to go through there and then I can put this side on purely because this has got to remain open because of the caliper when I put that on and I haven't drilled the holes for the caliper because I don't know exactly where they've got to go because this is slightly bigger Well, I'm very pleased to say that, oh, I haven't done that up. <laughs> the final piece in the puzzle is the mud guard. So what I've got to do is, I've got to line it all up perfectly, make sure everything's square, then mark the holes and drill them out, and then it'll fit absolutely fantastic. And this time, just to keep everybody happy, I'm going to fit some washers. Okay, just to spread the load. Calipers on, everything's all buttoned up, mud guards on. That ain't going absolutely anywhere. I've trued the tyre up 
the, the problem with these tyres is because they come out here, uh, it, it's hard to explain, but they don't sit on the bead very well because they're, they're, they're not pulling outwards, they're pulling sideways as well. What I did to true it up, see these cable tyres, I've got one there and I've got one there. Well, they're touching the tyre on the outer wall. So what I did was, I turned it round and I found out exactly where it was rubbing and then we'll say it was rubbing there, you move that back to there whack it with a hammer there to push it in a bit that side and then you know go all round it, keep going round it until it's all nice and true and then do it on the other side and now this, I mean it's not perfect, it's not absolutely perfect all the way around but it's as close it's as close as it's ever going to be. But before I balance it, I've done the wiring. Uh, I've now got, if I turn that on, you'll see that, that that bottom light is permanently on. It's a daylight running light. That is so, so as I know, 100% every single time, whether the BMS is powered up or not. And then these headlights on the front here, I've got on this switch, like that. They don't need a relay, they use very little power. I can't get down any further than this today, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to try and show you from basically nearly an upright. Uh, these, these are balance weights, self-adhesive balance weights. Now, if I can push one in there, you'll see that they actually do fit in there. So, I've got two strips of these, one of them is usually a sacrificial one whereby you keep sticking it in places and you have to end up chucking it away because it loses its self adhesive and the other one is for the good one so what I do is you fire it up obviously and then you get a random weight one of the small weights the smallest one you can and you literally stick it on there at a random point. Make sure it's stuck because you don't want it flying off. Oh, there you go. Make sure it's stuck because you don't want it flying off. Uh, you see if it's any better or any worse and if it's any better obviously you know. <laughs> oh, this is so hard to explain. Tell you what, I'll just do it. This actually weighs less than the factory one. It's 18 kilo. Um, <laughs> I can pick it up. I'll probably only be able to do it once and then I won't be able to walk for a week, but I can still pick it up. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up and I'm just going to randomly put a weight on there somewhere and hope that it makes it better. If it doesn't, if it makes it any worse, you know you've got it in the wrong place. <laughs> Right, I'll move that round a bit. That feels a bit worse. So that feels a bit better. So, I've got a black pen and a blue pen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mark that with a black line there. Sorry, red pen. And I'm also going to put a red line there which means that that bit there it was worse that bit there it's better and then what I'll do is I'll move it around another one I can't see it being any better here on the valve no that's definitely worse so I'll put a red line there And I'll move it round one. Definitely worse. So I'll put a red line there. Definitely worse again. Definitely worse again. And so I know now. that the weight I need to port is in this sort of area. So, 
If I get another one of those, so we'll put two of them on there. That is much better. So what we'll do is I'll move, I'll move it round a bit. Group them both together. No, that doesn't seem any better. So we'll put them both there. And you've got to be careful with these because you don't want them flying off. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get one of the big ones. I'm going to stick that on there. It's actually getting better. Let's just try sticking another one on there, one of the smaller ones as well. That is actually pretty good. I'm going to get another one of the big ones. So these wheels can take a lot of weight. Believe me, they can be very, very badly out of balance. Uh, on my version 3 e-bike, I think I added a whole block of these. The disc is still catching a bit, but there you go, it's now done. Absolutely amazing. One word of warning, when you're doing this, make sure that you disarm the motor before you put your motor, before you put your fingers in there. I know I didn't show it, but I've disarmed, disarmed the motor every single time. So now that's done, I'm just going to go and collapse because I think I've hurt something. <laughs> well, because I don't sleep, it's now 3 a.m. In the morning, I am. <laughs> well, because I can't sleep for more than a couple of hours because my leg keeps saying, Hello, hello, wakey, wakey. Oh, God, it does my head in. Anyway, I am up charging the scooter. There it is. Uh, what are we on at the minute? 70.7 volts. Charging at nearly 4 amps. Um, that's going to be 75.6 volts, so we have got quite a way to go yet. This goes here. And then this elastic band goes through these holes here, and it keeps that in place perfectly. I've got my headlights. Wow. So, when the day comes, I'm going out.